Hey guys, welcome back to another Hoko Life tutorial video here on my channel. How is everybody? Hope everybody is doing really well. Today we are going to do yet another kind of basic tutorial utilizing the tools that we already know how to use. We are going to craft a lamp. Now a lamp is going to be the second most requested item for you to build in the game so we're going to go into the workshop now you do have to do some things first so make sure you're always 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 checking your crafting recipes now for the light bulb to make a lamp you need a light bulb so you're going to need one steel bar and two pieces of glass now, some other things are required for you to do this first. To make glass, you're going to need six sand and two coal per pane of glass that you're using. So, however many light bulbs you want to make, that's how many pieces of steel bar you're going to need and how many pieces of glass you're going to need. So some resource farming might be in store for you should you choose to find yourself down this rabbit hole of making a whole bunch of lamps um, now some requirements for the steel of course you need iron ore and coal so if you choose one day where you're just completely farming the mines for all of these resources i say go for it you're not going to lose much of your day because it doesn't really take a lot so keeping those in mind when that's sort of building this lamp. So we're going to need one steel bar and we already got our glass requirement. So we're going to go to the crafting table and we are going to make one steel bar. And then that will prompt us to make one light bulb. Now, if you're wanting to make a, uh, very exquisite lamp by all means make more light bulbs to your heart's content now when you go to the design table and you select the blueprint you need to choose light it will tell you the rules one meter by four meters by one meter high those are preset and you need to use one light bulb minimum. Okay. Same as before. We got this beauty. You guys are familiar with it. You know what it is. We're going to get into it. So now you can pick and choose what kind of light bulb you want to use just by clicking the right bumper. And once you have that one light bulb, it will open up four different lighting options right now in the peace packs this is the only light available so you really only get these four choices so this is kind of always my last option that i really go for because i want to get the base structure down and i kind of want to know what i'm dealing with so if you have more glass that you made then you unlock these panes of glass option so when you see like terrariums or if you see something really exquisite out of glass this is how they did it all right so we're gonna go with this pumpkin looking shape here now remember remembering our tools right we have it on the move function so we always, always, always want to make sure that it's to the bottom, right? It's as flat as it can be on the surface. And then from there, we can always manipulate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it just a little bit because to me, that's a little too bulky. I want to shrink it down just a little bit, but not a whole lot. I don't, I mean, the base itself has to give some structure but i want it to still have a little bit of body to it and it's still within the confines of the square so i know for a fact 
that it is within the measurement that we're looking for or that's required. Okay. Now, I want to do something kind of fun and something kind of different. Um, so I'm going to use this little Y piece here. Now I'm just going to place it. But see, it's not, it's not the way I want it, right? So what are we going to do? We're going to hit our right arrow to move it. We're going to hit the right arrow on the D-pad. We're going to move it over using the colored arrows. And we're going to try and get it as close to where we want it before we rotate it. Now we'll hit the up arrow on the D-pad and then we'll select this yellow to rotate it up. Now of course it's going to be out of shape, right? That's okay. We can fix it. We have the technology. We can fix it. Hit the right D-pad. We're going to bring it up Now, here's where you can get creative. Um, you can absolutely leave it like this to where it kind of looks like a tree. That's definitely something that would be really cute, I think. Um, if you're not sure if you're still within the height requirement, you can always hit the X button, or excuse me, the plus button, and it'll let you know that you're still within the height requirement so obviously we haven't fulfilled all of the requirements we still need a bulb but that's okay i'm just trying to get my base design down but i still want to make sure that i'm within the confines of the rules all right i kind of like that i i think that's really cute so we'll go with that. Now, going back to some other options that we have available to us. As you see, we don't really have a whole plethora of resources. I didn't bring a whole lot with me. Um, so what I think would be kind of cool is to use some of this glass and make kind of like a we'll make like a glass lampshade which i think would be really cute Now, we're, this is, of course, a very, very modernist approach, right? We, we kind of, we, we like being different, you know? I actually don't want that one. So this is a little bit too big. So we're going to resize it. I want to squish it in just a little bit on both sides. Make it a little bit more square. A little square, right? And this, of course, again, is up to your imagination. <laughs> Now, 
it doesn't have to be anything super involved. So now with the lamp, the light bulb makes the most sense to be upside down. So we're going to rotate the light bulb. And then we're going to move it up. And then I always like to take it from the top angle just so that I can kind of see where the where the light source is coming from. And I like that it kind of looks like it's hovering a little bit. And what I think would be kind of cute too is we're going to have, we're going to make sure that we have move selected. We're going to hit Y and we're going to multi select and we're going to select the pane of glass and we're going to select the light bulb because we want to move them together and so we're going to move them down And I kind of like the I like the branch kind of peeking up through the glass. To me, I just think that 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 looks really cute. It's definitely a modern approach, and you know it it kind of acts as two different little shelves, right? Like you could put something here on the base, and then you could put something on this glass shelf here. That's a super cute idea. I. You can actually paint the base, but I really like this natural wood look. Definitely play around with it and see. This is a very simple tutorial, just kind of putting things together and sort of the, the functionality of the lamp, the requirements of the lamp, and what is needed. And I think it turned out really cute. Let me see your guys' creations. I think you guys are going to be incredibly creative. And I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you guys want more tutorials like this, I am so happy to do it. Just let me know. And as always, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.